Example 15 is to use Excel with a wide variety of projects that you have. You can use it for research logs, expense records, membership lists, indexing projects, large data gathering from record sets, and your individual research projects. Take advantage of spreadsheet examples that you find in print or online and then edit them or tweak them to fit your needs. I want to show you one of the projects that I'm using Excel with currently. Now this is found at Example 15, Annotated Bibliography. I'm currently working on a research project and an article involving my direct line ancestors, the Homestead Act, and some land in Nebraska. Uh, as part of this, I am putting together an annotated bibliography. As I'm finding books, articles, maps, photographs, any types of resources that I'm using, I'm adding these to my annotated bibliography. And that's a simple matter to do with Excel. What I did was I set up the item, and in this case you can see that it's a book or a scholarly article. If we were to scroll through, we'd see that there's a wide variety of things that I'm taking a look at, whether that's an encyclopedia, a local history, maps, or newspapers. I have the title of the item that I'm working with, as well as the citation. And in this instance, um, we're using uh, the Chicago Manual of Style 16th edition. I also took a look at the item and I've annotated it and decided how I'm going to be using it. I've made some references to whether it's a primary or secondary source, where it's located, and the follow-up that I'm doing with that information. This is just one page from my annotated bibliography, but I wanted to show you that there are a number of reasons that you'd want to use Excel for this rather than a Word document or something else. A couple of things to keep in mind, of course, are that you can sort and filter your annotated bibliography. For instance, if I only wanted to work with the books or I only wanted to work with the scholarly articles, I could easily filter this information. I can also sort it in an order that I want to use it, and if I'm looking for something in particular, I can use Find and Select. Now, in my case, we're putting together both genealogical and social history information in the annotated bibliography, but each of the instructors wants to only receive their information. I can keep that running annotated bibliography and then separate it out for each of those instructors. So there's a number of things you can do with it, and as you can see, you can enter your citation, you can enter as much information as you want in your annotation and you can also update it. So there's a lot of ways to play with it. Another thing that I wanted to show you was some newspaper research that I was doing. And that's also here in example 15 under newspaper research. In this case, I'm using newspaper edition, the date, the page and the column, if I'm able to find it that way, the item that I'm interested in, how it's classified, and my notes, as well as a citation. I can always add to this worksheet. I can add comments in even in the notes section. I can rearrange it, sort it and filter it, and then find things that I'm looking for. So this is just a quick example to show you the types of things that you can do. I keep my research log, and I gave you an example of one, a number of examples back, as well as the webinars that I attend, so that I kind of have a sense of how how I'm spending my time, whether it was helpful or not, and where the handout is that I've downloaded on my computer. Those are just two examples of how I use Excel with my genealogy research.